you sneeze? Good? Yep. Hi guys and welcome to my channel. This is Kimberly and today we're going to be doing a rabid reindeer. To start off with I'm going to be filling in my brows because they're very pale and yeah, so do one, do the other, make funny faces, the usual, you know how it goes. Now I'm going to be concealing the outsides of my brows because they're a little bit not on the sharp side, so do that. I did one, did the other, but I only filmed one, so... That's why I'm not doing the other one in this video. Now I'm going to be removing some of my foundation to put on my antlers later on. Uh, just so the spirit gum has something easy to stick to. Wipey, wipey, wipey. Okay, so now I'm going to be contouring the reindeer kind of shape onto my nose. So I need to really elongate my nose with a darker colour. Kind of like how you'd normally contour your nose, but really dark. Like same colours as your eyebrows. Just extending it that little bit more and darkening the edges. Taking a little look. Now I'm going to be darkening my cheeks and blending the nose contour into my cheeks to sort of give that deary kind of look. I am using the Crown Rose Gold palette and in a light brown kind of shade. I'm just using a regular blending brush to try and pack on a decent amount of colour. And really trying to blend in the nose and to the cheeks. I squint my eyes because I don't actually have my glasses on right now and my contacts are on order. So bear with me. Now we're going to be adding the eye bags to create sort of a zombie-ish kind of look. So we're lightly using a torpy kind of colour to really deepen those eye bags I guess. Now I'm going to be shading my eyes a little bit just so they're not so stark and pale. I'm just using the same cheek colour in the crease and blending. Now I'm really blending the cheeks to make it a little bit less patchy with a big fluffy brush. Do, 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 do. Blend, blend, blend. Just deepening those eye bags a little bit more. Now I'm taking some water activated paint and adding some little, little dots to my cheek.
Now I'm going to be painting in my nose with a dark brown face paint again. Just using a fine little detail brush to really get it nice and precise. Now I'm going to line my lash line with that same brown just to give it a little bit more fullness. Now again with the same colour I'm going to be filling in only my top lip with the dark brown. sort of joining my nose to the top lip a tiny bit just to sort of make that line. Now time for my antlers, pull off the little dog hairs because karma sheds a little bit. Struggling with the spirit gum here so bear with me. So I apply the spirit gum to the antler base and then I apply it to my forehead skin where I want the antlers to go and then I tap it to make it a little bit tacky. So when both of them are tacky I attach it and it sticks pretty well. Now I'm really pushing it in to make sure it's really secure and now doing the same thing for the other side. Just trimming it a little bit so it doesn't cover my brow too much. Just trimming it again once I've applied it because it did cover my brow. Whoops. So I'm just applying my Prosade to the edges of my antlers to blend the seam of the latex into my skin a little bit. I'm now adding a little white patch to my chest because I thought that would be in shot but it didn't so it didn't really make much difference in the end look but I just used the skin coloured body paint a bit lighter than my actual skin tone with a flat brush and did a semicircle. I'm now going in with a fan brush with that same colour just to sort of add a little bit of fur kind of lines to it and blend it so it's not a harsh line again. I'm now going to darken my shoulders with the same colour that I used on my cheeks because I felt like I needed some more dots there and they wouldn't show up unless I darkened my shoulders. So I darkened my shoulders and then decided I needed to darken around my chest a little bit. So I went around where I sort of added the lighter paint just to blend it a little bit more. Now I'm adding light skin tone coloured dots to my shoulders, giving them a little tap to blend them in a tiny bit so they're not so harsh. So I'm just concealing the base of my antlers because the edges were a little bit too noticeable. I didn't go too close to the actual antlers as this is going to be filled in with some colours from the Cryol and Bruise Wheel. I'm now powdering that bit that I concealed and blending it into the rest of my skin. So I'm just adding the dark red from the bruise wheel around the base of the antlers 
to sort of give it that bloody look as we're going to be adding some scratch blood so I needed some depth to the base of where the antler is coming out. I found that that wasn't quite dark enough so I added tiny bits of the dark blue from the same bruise wheel. And now for the fun part, I added some scratch blood to the edges of the antlers to make them look like they're coming out of my face. Adding a few little drips for good measure. Adding some blood coming out of my nose. Adding some blood around my mouth because as a rabid reindeer you'd probably be chowing down on a lot of meaty things. Just applying some mascara because I forgot to do that earlier. And now time for the teeth. I made these using the Ellie Max tutorial. You can see that in the description. So just pop them in, bloodying them up a little bit with a bit of scratch blood. And there's my final look. I forgot to record the actual final look, so here are some photos of the finished product. Of course I'm a little bit silly so here's a few non-serious photos. And here is my puppy dog Karma. He is a cavoodle and I love him so much and he never gets scared of any of my creations and he's just adorable. If you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and hit the little bell to receive notifications every time I upload. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye!